it kept drawing me closer, I would say, to this, to this big question of, of where I want to live out my faith and how I want to live out my faith. I knew I had to consider the priesthood. Hello, my name is uh, Richard Ordos. I'm a first year seminarian for the Archdiocese of Seattle. Many of you over at St. Michael's Parish would know me as Jack. That was my family nickname growing up um, and attending the parish. My own personal development in the faith um, started as something that was very intellectual. It was, I understood the faith. I, uh, I learned a lot of facts about God and about um, the Catholic Church. And then from there, I had to sort of, as I grew older, realize into this sort of connection with um, God as I knew him, rather than, you know, God as just as this thing out there. Um, and that's been a very slow development, I would say. And my involvement with the church was something that helped to grow that in a lot of ways. And it's something that I'm still definitely learning as I get um, older and go through seminary. That personal connection, I think, is what drew me here. Um, it's what drew me in that sort of vocational calling. In the first week of being here at seminary, one moment of prayer that really stuck out to me, it was adoration. And the whole community, or at least um, all the uh, people in the orientation week who were present, gathered down to the small chapel um, underneath the main church and spent that time in silence. And at the time, I was so filled with many questions um, and I had so many initial fears coming in, um, not knowing what it was going to be like, um, not knowing all these people who surrounded me, not knowing what this whole experience would be like. And my heart was just kind of in this fluttering kind of state. I was very nervous um, in a lot of ways. And it was a time of prayer where I just had this ability to let all that go and to say that <clears throat> my time here is, is, is for you. My time here is to grow in relationship with you. And in doing that, I was able to find such a peace. One of the things I really enjoy is just the community, um, the community of faith and the, the many people from all across the West Coast um, and beyond who are actively participating in this Catholic faith and showing so much drive to grow um, into this strong relationship with God. Having this place where everyone I, I talk to just has this sort of goal of um, this connection with God really speaks through the ways that they interact with me, with the ways that they interact with um, the rest of the community. And there's such a liveliness to that. And there's such a, um, such a brightness to just that community of love and care um, that has really helped me to grow in so many ways socially and um, internally um, and has helped foster that drive for myself to grow in my own faith and to participate in that community life. One of the things that really helped me help facilitate this growth um, for myself and help facilitate me to be able to answer these questions is um, the support from all the communities of the Archdiocese of Seattle towards the annual Catholic Appeal. Um, my own, I know for, for a fact, I'll tell you right now, um, that I wouldn't have come here if there hadn't been so much support from um, the community of St. Michael Parish and from the Archdiocese at large um, towards both financially and through prayer, um, as well as that personal connection to provide that support um, to jump on that calling and not let it sit in the background um, and to really pursue a life that is satisfying and one that um, answers a deep, a deep desire towards connection with God. And um, the support from the community, um, from St. Michael Parish, 
and from the entire archdiocese was um, the way I was able to do that. During this time, um, the entire archdiocese is being called to support the efforts of the appeal in a special way. And I ask that you participate in that um, and truly discern and ask the Lord, um, have an open heart to see where you are called to participate and how you are called to participate this year. I thank you for your time and attention um, that you've given towards a little bit of my story and towards the annual Catholic appeal. Um, I ask that you all keep an open mind and heart and I pray that you all have a blessed Easter and I look forward to participating within the faculties of um, the annual Catholic appeal with you this year. Thank you for your time.